A very good morning, children. Hope you understood the lesson at Tip 2 and Naman. So, today we'll try to discuss the grammar part, which is in the lesson. Okay, children, so we shall go ahead. Right, like coming to the page number 75. Page number 75. So, we have so many meanings in this uh, page number 75 and all. So, we'll go ahead with that. The first word which we are seeing is longing. So, what is meant by longing here? There is a strong feeling, a strong desire, right? I'm really longing to see him I, because maybe his father is away for some work and all. So maybe a one month of time. So now the child here is longing to see his father. Longing in the sense, having a strong desire, a strong feeling to look uh, see one particular person here, right? So uh, now even the narrator of this lesson also, he was long, they were longing to go to Andaman. So longing in the sense, a strong desire, right? Second word is vanish. The meaning of the word is vanish. Vanish in the sense here, disappear. Right? Uh, so the fairy appeared and gave them a wish and vanished. Vanished in the sense, disappeared. So she was not there. Right? She, she, they, would, they could not look her. So she vanished. Right? That is, well, the word meaning is disappear. Right? Uh, and uh, the opposite of this word is appear appear and disappear okay third one is treating third one is treating so generally when you go to a hospital doctors will treat you so when you suffer from a sickness or suffer from a kind of illness what doctors will do is they will treat you so basically you say he's under treatment the doctors are treating him so treating is a word which is used for especially uh, like no, when you are sick and all. So not only that, but also it is used in another way. Okay, they are not treating me good. So if somebody is not behaving properly with you, or if they uh, are not uh, like you no know, avoiding kind of avoiding, uh, if they are avoiding you, so usually we say that they are not treating him well, right? So that that is also a word which can, which can be. Uh, that's also uh, in a different way the treating word is used treating in the sense you go to hospital you get treated okay so when you're not given importance in the house or you're in, in a friends group so you say that they're not treating me well they're not treating me well here treating the sense not giving treatment for the sickness so it is a kind of behavior they are showing on you right? so that is how the word treating can be used in two different ways okay children now come to the next one inhibited in inhibited in, inhabited in the sense here lived people lived in a particular place right for example we are inhabited to live in this particular land animals are uh, like you no know, wild animals are inhabited to live in the forest right the camels are inhabited to live in the desert so inhabited in the sense they basically belong to that particular place right inhabited pleasant the next word is pleasant pleasant in the sense here enjoyable right the narrator saw that this was really a pleasant uh, uh, atmosphere in the ship so pleasant in the sense uh, enjoyable here right the word pleasant means enjoyable so basically you use like you now for example when you get up in the morning the weather is very good so you said it's a pleasant morning it's a pleasant morning the weather is absolutely pleasant okay it's a kind of enjoyable uh, really very very good okay so that is how you can use the word called as pleasant okay then curious then curious so when uh, you meet your a new friend you'll be curious to know about him so here curious in the sense you can also take another word that is anxious the meaning of the word is anxious so you'll be very anxious you'll be very curious to know about that particular person for example if your father brought you a birthday gift and uh, he hid it so then you'll be very curious to know what he has actually brought so if there's a box over there you just want to know what is there in the box so that is you, your curiosity will increase so you'll be very curious to know what is inside the box so curious the other meaning of the curious is anxious okay children next Queries. Queries in the sense questions. In the sense questions. So basically, when uh, you uh, like no uh, listen to a 
particular topic and all like you will have some questions to po pose right you, you keep on asking questions so that you you will get the proper response right so that is how even the child also had some queries right he, he was asking questions to all the crew who are in the ship so they were answering him very uh, neatly and uh, without any uh, thing and also they uh, explained him whatever he needed so they responded very well to the child so here queries in the sense questions queries in the sense questions right next abundance abundance in the sense like here uh, let me tell you an example if you go to a forest right the plants are in abundance right so there are abundant plants abundant in the sense which are more than enough which are more than enough right so for example if a person is there who is very rich he has a lot of uh, money with him so he has abundant money because whatever he has he has more than enough so the word meaning is uh, more than enough abundant in the sense more than enough the next is monument next is monument as we have discussed uh, yesterday monument in the sense a building which is having a historical importance for example if you take Taj Mahal uh, it has an historical importance because we study about them in our books also we know about it right so if you take the Charminar it has importance historical importance if you take Varangal Fort Avapar Temple okay all these uh, mon these are all called as monuments they are all called as monuments because these buildings are built in a very ancient time and they have the historical importance there is a history behind that they are not just built simply so they have historical importance so that is what is monument next is converted next is converted converted in the sense here changed converted in the sense here the word meaning is changed next is exciting next is exciting so for example uh, tomorrow there is a quiz competition and you are very well prepared and you'll be very excited to participate because you want to show your talent okay the meaning of the word excited is causing a great joy causing a feeling of great joy so you'll be very excited and you want to show your talents for it. you prepare for a dance performance so when somebody asks you how you how what is your feeling right if you, you say i feel excited to participate in this competition so excited in the sense here having a great uh, feeling of joy right next is diving next one is the word diving so what is diving here diving is jumping into the water you might have seen uh, the people who are really uh, i mean swimmers they dive into the water they go into the water and they come out right so that is called as the diving they jump into the water right so and uh, we have learned about the scuba diving also next is a word delicious now what does delicious mean a very tasty a pleasant uh, taste right so you can say delicious uh, like for example, somebody you go to somebody's house and uh, you have a nice dinner or something, and uh, you what you say is this is really good, good. So that will not satisfy the people. So you say you might you, you you can say that this food is really delicious. I have never eaten such kind of food. It's really delicious. So delicious in the sense, you know, like a very having a very very good taste, a very pleasant taste, right? That is why we use the word called as delicious. So you can say that, yeah, the food is good. Yeah, it is actually uh, very nice. So all these words you can say, but if you want to give a you know a proper uh, adjective to the food, you can say delicious. The food is really delicious, right? So that is how uh, you can tell about the delicious. And also, then uh, we have come across a word called as ferry. What is ferry here? Ferry is a boat which carries the vehicles right for example you want to go from this end of the river to the other end of the river and you have a vehicle so you cannot go right and there are ferries which carry the vehicles also they, they carry the vehicles they carry the people they carry the goods and those kind of uh, boats are usually called as the ferries you might have seen in the movies also where people will be there and along with their vehicles right so that is called as actually ferry now coming to the coral reef. Coral reefs are the ones which are found in the sea level, right? Bottom, right? In, the end of, in the base of the sea. And they are very, very beautiful. And you can just search in the internet uh, typing just coral reef. And you can see 
how beautiful they look like okay so that is about the coral reefs right now coming to the questions now coming to the questions so we come to the page number 76 76 okay there are some questions which are given here we'll just try to understand them and answer. so coming to the first question answer the following questions and the first question is what are the different uh, tourist attractions they saw in the island right what are the different tourist attractions which they saw in the island they went to the mahatma gandhi okay zoological park over there second they went to the elephant island okay they went to the uh, havelock island okay they went to the rajanagar beach and also they saw they, they went in a boat a glass boat where they can see the bottom of the sea and also like you know uh, they had an elephant rides and all so that is how they went to different tourist places in andaman and nicobar islands okay so and also uh, they have seen the turtles right through the uh, glass bottomed boats and all so that is how these are the different uh, tourist places which you can see and also especially the jail the jail which has the very uh, i mean say uh, it's a, it has the historical importance right so now it is now converted into a hospital so it has a very good importance right so that is also what they have seen next is would you like to go to andaman uh, during holidays give reasons uh, to you for your answer uh, like do you want to go to andaman and uh, nicobar islands during the holidays and all yes definitely why not because when you have these many things these many tourist attractions right a different uh, experience why why you definitely definitely want to go over there so especially to see the scuba diving especially to see coral reefs okay especially to travel in the uh, glass bottom boats right and also to see the creeks the water which uh, comes under the land so what not there are several attractions okay and also to see the miniature of india right to see the people of different religions different faiths different states and all living in one particular place so why not all these are the very uh, like you know the best attractions and all we definitely like to see all of those things which means of transport is in your opinion more enjoyable for visiting a place like andaman give reasons for your answer so how how you'd like to go to andaman nicobar island so the best way to go is by a ship so when you go by in the ship and all no, like you'll enjoy a lot so like uh, you have seen the mother she brought the children out and she showed them the dawn right how beautiful it might be right and traveling in the sea will be definitely a very good experience so to see these islands and all like if it's, it's always good that you travel in a ship okay children so next what is the next question the andaman nicobar islands have been called as a miniature do you agree with this view Yes, I agree with this view because Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the place where, you know, a lot of people, right, for the, who, who come from the different uh, states and all, right, different states of India, people come there and do a kind of business. And also people from different places will come to the uh, place for, as a tourist, right. So, and the, you can see the people of different faiths over there, you can see the people of different religions over there. So, all these, like, you know, so who is I mentioned in the lesson which is given, right? So I is the narrator who is narrating the lesson to us. So whenever you write, whenever you see a lesson with I, so I always is a narrator who always keeps on narrating the lesson. So his name will not be revealed anywhere. But in the complete lesson, but whereas we know only that he is a brother of Amala and both were children because they were waving hands and their mother and father were like you no, know, they came in the summer vacation and the schools are going on. So we can say that these are the events written by the narrator when he was absolutely like you no, know, when he was grown up, he only wrote the events which happened in his childhood. So that is how I is a narrator here who was a child, but when he wrote this uh, lesson and all like you no know, events which happened in his life, so. Uh, he was a, uh, I think, a grown-up boy. The writer saw many interesting things, but uh, which one of them uh, surprised him the most? So, these people, like, like they saw several things in Andaman Nicobar Islands, but they were really surprised to see a few things. Like, what are they? The first thing is that when he saw the ship, it was a four-storied ship and it was a huge ship. 
right? It was, it, it was even bigger than the school building. That is the first thing. Second thing is, there was a salon where the people are going, where the people are having the haircut. There were restaurants where the people are having their food. Okay, and also there there was uh, doctors who were treating the treating the uh, like the people who are having uh, who are having the sea sickness. So all these things like you no, know, they were actually happening as uh, uh, as it happens in our on old streets and all. So that is what uh, really surprised the narrator, right? Isn't it? So and also there were some fancy stores here and there. People were buying the things uh, like we buy from the market. So. So that is how all these things, you know, like all these things, uh, it really surprised the narrator. How did the tourists enjoy on the beach, right? How did the tourists enjoy on the beach? So some of the tourists, like, you know, they enjoyed on the beach, like they were baking, they were basking under the sun. Okay, especially the tourists who come from the foreign countries and all. And uh, there were some people who were swimming in the sea and some... Other also were taking the ri elephant rides and all. There were elephants and all. They were taking some elephant rides. So that is how the tourists were enjoying the uh, time at the beach. Who guided the family on the islands? So I don't think somebody has guided them. So nowhere it's mentioned that somebody has guided them. Uh, like in the family head, that is the father it's himself has guided them throughout the, uh, the islands and also wherever they went, he was with them. Why do you think the scuba diving needs eight cylinders, right? Why do the scuba divers need eight cylinders, right? They have the oxygen cylinders at the back when they go into the water. What is the reason? Because we, we can only breathe on the land. So when you are on the land, so when you go into the water, you cannot breathe. So if the water goes and fills our lungs, no, okay, that will, uh, like, it will choke you to death. So within no time, you will die. Whereas the animals which has the which are living in the water, they have the gills. The water goes inside, comes out through the gills. So water doesn't stay in their body. So it goes on coming outside. So that's how they're able to survive because they have the respiratory organs as lungs, uh, gills. But whereas we are having the respiratory organs as lungs. So it's not that easy for uh, like you know, us to breathe in the water. So that's the reason why to save our cells to survive, we put on the oxygen cylinder so that we can get the air. Otherwise, without because of the lack of air and all, you will die in the water. So here, uh, there's a question here. Have you visited any tourist places? Okay. And if you have visited a tourist place, you just you write a, a note on that. You might have gone with the like schools for excursions or with your parents to different uh, places or temples or uh, some other uh, religious places okay or solids and museums in Hyderabad, Billa Mandir so whatever things are there like no uh, you know you just write a note about them okay you can just take a paper and uh, write all the meanings okay which are given in the lesson and also frame your own sentences right that's the first thing second thing is you also write the place which you have visited the place which you visited and which you like the most the main two displays and also write about that okay and even if you have not visited any place so you write which place you want to visit and why you want to visit so that is what i wanted by evening okay children see you all until then have a great day take care